If you had to choose a favorite mineral out of all the minerals that we consider nutrients, per se, magnesium, at least in my opinion, would be at the top by far. If you look at all the things that magnesium does and what happens if by some odd chance you're not getting adequate levels of magnesium, it is just a fascinating, fascinating biological tool. However, we're only going to look here at magnesium in relationship to pancreatic cancer, in particular, an inverse relationship. And it's probably more important than ever looking at it today especially. But let's go straight into the research. Magnesium intake may be beneficial in preventing pancreatic cancer. Citation title, Magnesium Intake and Incidence of Pancreatic Cancer, the Vitamins and Lifestyle Study, published in the British Journal of Cancer, the December 1st, 2015. Now, the reason it's important, and just to go over this real briefly and fast, pancreatic cancer stands, at least according to cancer research, stands to be in the second leading cause of cancer deaths by 2020. Now, to compound that or correlate that per se with magnesium deficiency, and it's tough to find uh, good solid numbers, but if we at least to go according to the CNN research, stating that only 25% of the US population gets adequate levels of magnesium, you can see the combination between inadequate magnesium intake and skyrocketing pancreatic cancer rates, at least the correlation. So, into the research itself. Studies document that magnesium is inversely associated with the risk of diabetes, which is a risk for, or a risk factor for, of pancreatic cancer. However, studies on the direct association of magnesium with pancreatic cancer are few and findings are inconclusive. In this study, we aim to investigate the longitudinal association between magnesium intake and pancreatic cancer incidence in a large prospective cohort study. Now, this was a huge study. Specifically, 66,806 men and women between the ages of 50 and 76 were followed between the years of 2000 and 2008. So basically an eight year period of time. This is what they discovered, and this is incredibly telling. Here we go. The study found that for every 100 milligrams per day decrease in magnesium intake, now the RDA is what they use as the benchmark. So for every 100 milligrams per day decrease in magnesium intake below the RDA, it was associated with a 24% increase in the occurrence of pancreatic cancer. Now, also too, they weeded out everything else. They took into account age, gender, body mass, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drug use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and basically said, it's the magnesium. So what this does is trigger obviously a lot more questions than just basically the answers they got from this correlative study. Does magnesium deficiency contribute to cancer, cause cancer if you're deficient, or correlate it in some other way? especially since you cannot medicate your way out of a nutrient deficiency. So in populations which are concerned or at high risk of pancreatic cancer, always again consult with your medical professional, but however, bring magnesium to the attention of those individuals and just see if it's something that you may want to include a little extra into your diet, either through food or through supplementation. Again, I really hope this helps. This is Ralph Turciano signing off. Thank you very much for listening once again.